The friends lived in such a way as to defy boredom. Refusing all proposals of responsibility and swimming upon the high tide of youth, the free spirits approached with a thousand anticipations of all the wonders their days would bring. Sadly, it was not to be, as fate did not intend that they should enjoy their times for very long. Nevertheless, they were resilient in their determination to enjoy themselves with an enthusiasm unrivaled. They practiced the science of every kind of misconduct, and professors of that science were always made welcome. They made good on innumerable occasions to improve their intimacy with a blind partiality, as a bird sings, or a rose blows from nature. Let it suffice to say that they were poised to enjoy their summer escape, free of care, at the idyllic mountainside retreat. And no doubt they would have, had they not all been brutally murdered, one by one. Mr. Parker here, and I'm here for another DVD Fiends review. I think it's week 67 or something like that. And the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Murder Loves Killers 2. Basically, uh, the movie starts off as your run of the mill slasher film uh, up into the third act. And the third act takes a bizarre turn into zany, strange, if American Beauty snapped. If Kevin Space and American Beauty snapped. But, anyways, uh, the film has some really good shots when it's doing the slasher thing. Uh, a couple good death scenes. The movie takes no time to get off. It starts off, boom, right in your face. Opens up with uh, some very weird narration. It sounds like it's David Attenborough from Life or something like that. Uh, making the weirdest analogies beautiful. But anyways, after that you get into it. And uh, you see a group of kids who get slayed. And uh, basically the killer does not say one word. He looks basically, my friend said, like uh, Drew Carey's brother in the show. In the Drew Carey show, and he looks pretty much identical to that, or Bill Dotrie, someone like that, run-of-the-mill guy. And anyways, what happens is, uh, he doesn't talk until the third act, and he is not what you expect. He comes in, he starts saying uh, strange things, and uh, he's not crazy in the sense, it's just uh, very weird. And uh, the third act, like I said, it's just like, you think the movie should end. But it doesn't end, and it goes on for about another 15 minutes, which actually turns quite comical and strange. And it uh, basically says, it dives into why the killer's the way he is, more than a lot of other slasher movies had done, uh, making it uh, a very different movie, making it a pretty good movie. Uh, the camera angles, like I said, were very nice. Uh, There's a couple good gore scenes in there. Well, not so much gore, death scenes. Uh, like I said, typical slasher movie with a 180 twist in the middle. I meant towards the third act, and... Uh, it was well worth watch. I'd definitely watch, uh, recommend it for people to give it a watch. It's not for everybody, I don't think. Uh, at one point, there is the classic uh, I'll Run From You for 30 Minute scene, which is a lot of slasher movies. This movie also, I says, plays very uh, big homage to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, somebody clearly walks in a room like, da da, hello, and boom, hammer, ball peen hammer, something hits him in the head and drops him. Awesome scene of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, decent in this movie. Um, there's also a Shining Hobbit scene with the axe to the door, so the person who made this movie definitely likes their horror movies, uh, and it shows, and they did take some serious thought into getting their camera shots, I can tell that, some really nice camera shots, some really nice tension, some really nice suspense, uh, like I said, soundtrack is bizarre, the end song is something like, uh, was it Mittens, Kitty Mittens, I don't know, Naughty Mittens, something really stupid like that, you'll, you'll hear the song, it's just insane. But uh, the ending made the movie. Uh, I would recommend it. It is Murder Loves Killer 2. And uh, we have this nice little uh, poster in here for the movie. Like the shot with the bee. Actually, damn cool, too. It's a pretty cool movie. I would recommend it. Thank you. Bye.